Yo, Tony, a security guard rolled up on you, bro. Yeah. What'd he tell you? <laughs> oh, he was just asking, like, why was I there? Uh, he was making sure that um, we didn't wash the truck inside the parking lot because they don't like, uh, I guess, the water or anything inside the parking lot. So I just let him know I'm just waiting on the client. And that way we could figure out a position to leave the truck and wash it. So we went outside and now we're doing it right here. Um, I usually do his truck at his other, at his other shop. Mm -hmm. um, but in the mornings he works here and then like afternoon he works at the other one. Got you, man. So what, what do we have in the works? Uh, this was just a mini detail. So detailed foam wash, mini interior, vacuum wipe down, spray wax, nothing too crazy. Last time I did it was like last month, I really like three weeks ago. So. It should be just cleaned up really nice. And how long should this take you? Uh, two hours or less. The first time that, uh, well, when he hit me up, I didn't know it was gonna be this big. I was like, <laughs> the good thing is not too bad on the inside. It was just literally the carpet and the floor mats and everything else. Mm -hmm. The first time it was really, really dirty, but I got the majority of it, so it's not too, too bad. Hey, how do you get up there? A ladder? This uh, three-step and then or. It, since this one, look, the truck is literally taller than, look at that, the truck is like, pretty much taller than the three-step ladder. So I gotta open the door sometimes and get on the, like on the side and then just, oh, I also got a, like an extension. So that's how I can reach all the way in the middle. Then the bad thing is it has the bed cover. So I couldn't use, like I couldn't utilize the bed to mm. get like, on the top. Cause I usually, when most trucks, I'll utilize the bed and do the top area. But for this one, it has the bed cover. So I have to either do on the side of the doors or this, or um, get on the tires as well. All right, Tony, for the mini detail. Well, how do you start it? Uh, for this one, I'm gonna start with the wheels. Clean them all up. I'm using iron removal for these wheels. Um, usually it's a regular wheel cleaner, but these are kind of delicate. So we're gonna use iron remover, and then I'm gonna use, um, I got the PNS like off-road soap that I'm gonna be utilizing for this wash. I'll use that to clean the tires and the undercarriage and the whole paint. Uh, so I'm gonna let that free foam sit for a while. I'm gonna foam it on, let it dwell while I'm cleaning the wheels, rinse it off and then do the actual contact wash. Rinse that off. Once we're done with the contact wash, uh, we'll start getting on the inside, start vacuuming, wipe down, um, brush the crevices, and then we'll come back to the outside, dry everything, blow dry it, spray wax, and then, and then we'll do finishing touches like windows, tire dressing, wipe down the wheels, uh, things like that. Hey, Tony, quick question. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between a mini detail and a full detail for you? So really, the full detail is very, like, it really depends on what the person wants, what the client wants, because sometimes they may not need or want too much on the outside done or too much on the inside done. Technically speaking, if we, our regular full detail package starts at like 500 bucks, and that's a full interior detail, which means shampooing the seats, carpet, floor mats, getting the inside basically looking as brand new as possible. And then on the outside is just like a level one, which is basically the clay, the iron removal, and a sealant and wax. Um, but with the mini detail, it's just a uh, very basic vacuuming and wipe down. There's no shampooing of anything on the inside. We're not trying to make the inside look as new as possible. We're just, if it's a new vehicle and you keep it well maintained, it should look like new. But if it's like really, really dirty, um, then it'll just look a lot better, but it wouldn't look perfect. And then on the outside, it's just a really good wash um, for the mini detail. There's no clay involved, so we're not making your paint smooth again. Uh, it's still gonna have contamination if, it's, uh, if you haven't done the level one service in a while. And it's just a uh, basic protection with the spray wax. So you're not gonna have like a, a sealant or wax or anything, just spray wax, shine it up a bit. And that's about it. All right, Tony, you done with the outside or not yet? Mm, just the wash, just the contact wash. Um, I'm probably gonna get started on the inside. Uh, start vacuuming and wipe down and then I'll come back to the outside to finish drying it off. So we're using spot free water, I'm gonna let, the weather's not too, too hot, but it'll help dry some of it. So once I'm done with the inside, at least the vacuum and wipe down, I'll come back out with the blow dryer and uh, hit the whole outside and then do finishing touches. All right, Tony, you done with the outside, the inside? Mm, sort of, almost. <laughs> I just gotta do finishing touches for both inside and outside. So I'm about to do the tire dressing and dress a couple of the plastics and trim. And then I'm gonna go start the, the detail spray on the outside, or actually, so this one was ceramic coated by another detailer. Um, the protection's kind of not at its best right now, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and use a throttle from Shine Supply, which is like a detail spray for ceramic coating uh, vehicles. So we're gonna use that for the outside wipe down, and then we're gonna do door jams, windows, and wipe down anything we need to wipe down on the inside and that should be about it for this one and turn it in. How long have you had this client? 
No, nah, not too long. It was the second time I serviced his vehicle. Mm. So uh, basically just like a month because I did this truck like last month. Oh, he had another detailer before that. Yeah, he had someone else detail on his, his, uh, his vehicles. And then what happened? How come he didn't go back to that detailer? Uh, he just said that the other detail was like lagging on him and mm. not like responding and or like he couldn't book an appointment with him. Like he would just take forever to respond. So he hit me up and then I booked him in pretty much fairly quickly. So he just decided to keep using our services. He liked the detail the first one. So he booked us again for the second time. Just some advice for some detailers. Answer your... Yeah, try to answer your texts and calls and at least get back to him at least within like 24 hours, 48 hours max. Um, yeah, because then you'll, you'll lose clients if you don't respond back to them. All right, Tony, what'd you spray, man? Uh, this is uh, Nano Skin, I believe. Yeah, Nano Skin, Wet Shine, uh, coating spray for the outside. Mm. Usually use this or or the 3D one. Um, they both work pretty good. It's just to shine up these trim areas. So I'll just spray this, and I'll, after I spray uh, this area, I'll come back and use a spray detailer all around and wipe down like the painted surfaces so it doesn't leave this uh, little like sl uh, sleek finish. And then you can also wipe it down at the end so it's not all like greasy or slimy or anything and just dry to a touch. Cause this car was, or this truck was ceramic coated by another detailer. Um, so on any, that's what we're gonna be using for pretty much all the cars today. Cause they're all coated except for the Bronco but it's still safe to use on cars that aren't coated. Um, but yeah, just throttle detail spray from Shine Supply. You know one thing I hear a lot, Tony, from other detailers? Uh-huh. It's if, if we don't ceramic coat your car, we can't add protection to it because we don't know what chemicals they use, how long is the protection, if it's good. Have you heard other detailers say that before? I have. Um, with me, it really varies like on the client. Like if the client um, is okay with me using my own products and I'll use my own products, but if they want me to use something specific, it really, it really depends. I'll be like, um, either they have to provide it, but if I don't like the brand, then I won't use it. I'll, I'll just have to turn down the service. Um, or I'll explain to them like, cause this uh, product is like universal. Like it's not going to be like, affecting any coating. So um, I'll have to explain to them like that, that the, I'll show them where I buy it from, the, the information about it, the description. And then the, if they give me the go, like uh, the okay to use it, then I'll be good. But if they don't give me the okay, then I either won't be able to service their car or we'll have to come to either a mutual agreement or, or just not service it. So let me know in the comments down below if one of your clients came to you and let you know that another detailer ceramic coated their car, what would you do differently or what would you, how would you service that vehicle? Would you use a different product? Would you use their product that they want you to use? How would you go about that situation? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, guys, well, there you have it. That's my mini detail step by step. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And remember, if you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't forget, if you guys need a detail in the San Marino area, hit me up on Instagram. Thanks for watching.